Yo, Jay, what time is it? What's up, y'all? It's five rounds. One robot boxy. At 13, said, book a wish list. Ray, my single mother knows me for Christmas. Birthday was the worst day. Now we sip champagne when we thirsty. Recipe's big. I live it like this. Welcome to the good life. Came my own way to live life. I did it, I did it. I finally did it. For my mother, I did it. For my partners, I did it. Hey, 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 it's your girl, Nene the Fiery Scorpio, back again, five rounds. Hey, back up in this piece. Oh, who was that? Oh, it's Chocolate Bunny. <laughs> okay, I'm Chocolate Bunny. I was excited. <laughs> I missed y'all. You... <laughs> Clearly, she got excited. <laughs> she right. jumped in real quick, mm-hmm. a little premature like. Mm-hmm. And it's your girl, Blue Flame. And as I uh, was letting folks know, we also on Skype. We got the creators of Tough Love, Ronnie and Caleb. And yeah. the girls as well. Uh, Good to be with you guys again. Yeah, I know. It's been what? Was it? Has it been about a year? Probably. Yeah, yeah probably yeah. so. Yeah, because yeah. it was like yeah, season one. So oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, it's been yeah, because it was around season one. So yeah. just let's get started. Um, for for, for those that don't know. I don't know how they don't know as much as I talk about it. <laughs> I'm a fan of web series and tough love is one of my favorite. And if you've been under a rock, I don't know, you know, get from underneath the rock, underneath the rock, whatever. Yeah. I lift mean, lift the rock up, lift the rock up so they can basically, you know, see, cause tough love is like banging right now, especially season two. I want to congratulate you guys on season two. Even, Thank you. Yeah. Even though it's not done, we got bonus episode, which I'm excited for. Because <laughs> I know it's about to be, it's going to be lit. <laughs> so, um, first of all, why did you choose to create a show like Tough Love out of, you know, different things you could have went with? Uh, first and foremost, we thank you for having us back on. Yeah. Uh, you know, thank you for the support five rounds that you guys been Always putting us on the airways out there. Yeah. Um, and we definitely appreciate all the love from season one till now. So thank you very much. And we also had a great time with you out in NYC. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I uh, back out there. <laughs> yeah, but t- tough love. Um, just the way it came about. Uh, Ronnie, she had her uh, her blog site on Instagram, Black Love Exists. And then myself, I'm a freelance filmmaker out here in New York City. So um, with 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 her with her fan base on Black Love Exists, and with my skill set uh, in film, we just collaborated them together, and that's how we created Tough Love. Ronnie could elaborate more on the the storytelling process. Uh, yeah. So I chose to focus on relationships, um, just because that's what I'm most interested in um you know i have a lot of well kind of had a lot of single friends around me friends that deal with different guys and crazy situations so i just kind of wanted to document it and wanted to tell these stories along with my own stories and just incorporate it all together okay. that's what's up and it's and you guys did it well even i mean like i said the whole entire cast the, the just the whole atmosphere of it is very well done Thank you. Yeah. Um, so, uh, you know, as we had you on before, you know, I had mentioned about what you guys see yourselves as, you know, basically, did you want to do sort of like um, black uh, black and sexy type network? And next thing I know, you linked up with black and sexy. So how yeah. did that happen? <laughs> so I don't know. I want to. I don't know if I want to say I spoke it into existence. So I was about to say, you better speak the thing. <laughs> right. Because, I, be, I mean, you know, la- the last time they was on here, I was asking, you know, because Black and Sexy is kind of a huge black network for web series. And I was like, do y'all want to do that? And next thing I know, season two. Wala Magic. Yeah. So how did that all come about? Well, well, first and foremost, you might as well segue and say HBO in this interview so we can be on HBO next time. Okay, <laughs> I know, that's right. I know, that's right. I, know I was going right. to come in towards the end. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and push that good old over-own network on. 
gonna let you tell the whole story. But um, <laughs> uh, black and sexy uh, that came about. That was that was a really nice thing because um, you know, first and foremost, we we um we pretty much watched them throughout the growth of their process, mm-hmm. and they actually inspired us to create tough love. Just seeing a template with love and relationships over on the West Coast. And then us here in the East Coast, we wanted to bring that that same vibe over here to New York City, and um, and basically they caught the vibe. Um, staff members in Black and Sexy TV were actually fans and subscribers to uh, Tough Love, and that got wind of um, of the the head over there, De- uh, Dennis Dortch, or one of the heads over there, Dennis mm-hmm. Dortch, and we just had a conversation, and we were just talking about. You know the you know the whole web series filmmaking process, and they were talking about you know their process and where they're headed in the future. And then you know we were just going back and forth, and we found something that was right. And you know they had the opportunity to put us on their platform a week before to their subscribers. Mm-hmm. So um, they they had some exclusive content on on their platform via Tough Love, and you know we we were uh you know we were just coming together to create something great. Yeah. yeah, and I originally, um, when we first was creating Tough Love, or when we first was putting out um, the first couple episodes of season one, I was like contacting them, like, please just watch it. Uh-uh. Uh, by the end of the season, or toward the end of the season, uh, Dennis, who we knew was a creator, emailed us saying how he was addicted to the show. So we were really excited about that. Oh, that's super um, dope. And then we hadn't heard from him again, and fast forward almost a year later, or released the opening scene of season two. He mm-hmm. contacted us that night. Like, we got to get this on Black and Sexy. So that was really exciting. And we love the fact that we were able to uh, have it on their platform, but still release it for free on our platform mm-hmm. to all of those uh, viewers and subscribers that helped us, like you, uh, raise funds for the season. Yeah. Yeah, that was yeah, that was actually dope. Like, when I remember seeing it, I was like, wait. They on black and sexy. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Look at them. And I and, and I and I will watch it both both times. I'll watch it on because you know I subscribe to Black and Sexy, so I will watch it the week before and then when it comes on YouTube. So I basically uh, so I can get uh, the view. You know what I'm saying? Thank, thank you, thank you for that. Thank you for that view on our. You know, we were lost in the mix. Yeah, and that really that really opened up a lot of doors for more fans for you guys being on the black and sexy network. Definitely. Absolutely. Yeah. Even, even our actors, they, they've uh, been out and about on the streets of New York and they've run into people and they're like, Oh, I discovered the show on black and sexy. Mm-hmm. So, and then it's just a, a, just a different set of viewers. A lot of viewers from the West coast where we're originally from watch black and sexy. Um, so yeah, it opened a lot of doors. It's yeah. really exciting about. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, since you guys, um, basically the show's based around relationships, so how is it being a couple and working together? Do you... <laughs> oh, wait! <laughs> That's you a great question. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like uh, it's like heaven. It's like heaven. Good answer. Good answer. Right. <laughs> uh, no, no, it's... It's interesting. It's a uh, it's a process for sure. Um, it's a lot of fun uh, because you know we're here in our apartment in New York City and we're like bouncing off ideas off each other all day, coming up with new idea, new ways to promote. Um, I'm when I'm writing the script, he's throwing in ideas. I'll finish a uh, finish an episode. He's like, ah, oh, that's not quite enough, and he'll throw some ideas in. Uh, we'll debate about it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> So you always um, and then win, right? even with the process of him directing, like I try to sit, I sit back and let him direct. But sometimes I'll be like, oh, that's not quite how I wrote it. I want to see it this way. Um, so it's fun. Um, it can be intense sometimes. Uh, sometimes we can go at it a little bit. Um, but we work through it. And we, we've grown a lot from season one to season two. We learned a lot about working together. Yeah, yeah, like like she was saying. <laughs> See, like, yeah, yeah, what yeah. She said. Like, after season one, we actually sat down and we had an assessment with all of our actors, and we, um, you know, we we told them, you know, what we like to see them improve on and what they did well on, and they also told us, you know, it was like it was transparent on both sides, you know, what we did good on and what they like to see from us, and one of the big things was like, you know, how me and, and Ronnie communicate on set that they didn't like the the back and 
forth in front of them, they felt like, you know, they said that we were like the children and we were seeing mom and dad fight. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, really. so season two, we, um, we, we worked or, uh, preparing for season two, we worked on that. We came up with a game plan. We said, if we have any disagreements on set or in front of the cast, we'll make sure that we pull one another to the side and then have it, you know, have that discussion elsewhere and also keep it cool, calm, and collective. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we did, we did a pretty, pretty good job on that in season two. And the cast, they, they would, they would play us against each other sometimes like mom and dad. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Kayla would want a little more of the sex scenes. And so the guys would be like, well, Kayla, can we do this? And I'm like, no. <laughs> They're like, oh, wait, wait till Ronnie leaves the room. I'm like, no. Wait. No, wait, <laughs> wait till Ronnie leaves the room. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, we worked that out. Yeah, this, this yeah, yeah. So, it, you know, it's all, it's all about, you know, it's all about just like, you know, keeping, like, you, you, you know, we're definitely a couple, but, you know, we have we have to respect one another just Be like as as professionals and artists while we're either developing shooting um even in the post production or even just you know when we're just out and about you know talking about tough love or brand the brand and the name mm -hmm. but it's really the the amazing part is that every success is like a joint success it's not like mm -hmm. he celebrates mine or I'm celebrating his we get to celebrate everything together yeah so that's the exciting part yeah, that's dope. Yeah, yeah. that is super yeah. dope. Man, if I could find somebody like that. Oh. <laughs> Jesus, I'm trying to find somebody to build an empire. We need them. Yeah, we need love New York. I, New York. You know, they, I mean, they said in LA. <laughs> yeah, okay, they well, did. We'll yeah, move they, there. We'll move to LA. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm just saying, like that. Y'all about to pack y'all bags and go. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, tomorrow. <laughs> now understand My that is up next month. Ronnie met Caleb, y'all. <laughs> they 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 met each other. Just because they met don't mean y'all gonna move to LA and it's gonna happen. Uh, the chance. Dad, you there. just just shit on our dreams. I'm I'm just relationship story. Dating in LA is hard. <laughs> 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 I'm just saying, just shitting on our dreams. Sorry. Well, uh, clearly it's not working in Indianapolis. So sure why not give it a try? <laughs> right. What do we got to lose? The... Right. I can't with this. <laughs> what do we have to lose? Bro? That's super Dang dope, it. though. I'm gonna try to go there. Like yeah. That. The fact that y'all have become a power couple that is super yeah. dope. That yeah, that is definitely... something to reach for, though. Yeah. And for real. All jokes aside. That's dope. And I mean, we also got to congratulate them because they're actually engaged. Congratulations! Uh, <laughs> oh, it's, it's this year, right? It's this year, right? <laughs> it's uh, you guys getting married this year, right? Yeah. yeah. We'll be getting married in June. June sixteenth. Can we come? <laughs> I I just want to work on the show. She's talking about being in the wedding. I, uh, I was gonna say, can I come like get coffee and stuff for season three? I'm gonna tell y'all what's really cute though. Like our listeners can't see them or whatever. Are y'all want until it comes out on YouTube? But he smiled like hell when he said June 16th. Yeah. That is so. <laughs> That's so damn yeah, cute. That is. Oh my god. That's cute. <laughs> That's cute. Hey, <laughs> and that's another part of Tough Love, too. It's like, you know, not only, it's funny, not only were we on set working on Tough Love, but Ronnie over here on her cell phone in between takes, you know, looking at venues and, you know, <laughs> wedding dresses. And I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, hey, Ronnie, can, can you do this? She's like, uh huh, huh. I look at her phone, it's wedding dresses and stuff. And, you know, it's, it's a lot of like, you know, love behind the scenes going on. During tough love, so yeah. that, that I'm was, that was sure that makes it easier to write in things. I'm right. sure. Aww. Aww. No. <laughs> oh, jeez. I should have I should have lived in LA. Ma'am. I'm just saying. <laughs> you know I'm ready. Ex ex excuse <laughs> them. <laughs> right. So what can we look forward to in season three if you wanna can you give us a little hint? For one, so first, first of all, wait a minute. Let me ask: Is it going to be longer episodes, though? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we haven't greenlit season three just yet. Oh. Um, we are trying to, you know, raise the money um, from selling the episodes and other mm -hmm. fundraisers that we plan to have in the future. Um, we're hoping to maybe get picked up by a network. We don't know. Yeah. Um, so we 
we should be announcing whether or not that will happen soon okay. enough. Yeah. Um, but we're hopeful. We're really hopeful. And so if so, uh, we want to keep an average of 30 minutes. I know there were a couple episodes this season that were shorter than that, that people went crazy about. Yeah, um, I was one of them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So episode three, for example, was our shortest one. We won't we won't ever go that short again. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. yeah, thirty minutes. Well, uh, the our question: What do you guys uh, project that will happen in the bonus episode, which is forty five plus minutes? Oh, it's forty five. Oh, well, I mean, you know, from the finale. Well, I guess the finale, if you want to call it uh, the bonus episode. Um, you saw Quincy and. Quincy going over to Alicia's. Um, I think they might get back together. I really don't think they should as far as as a couple, but as business-wise, yeah, they need to run the business together. As a couple? Huh? No, they, not, should. they shouldn't be together as a couple, but as business-wise, yes. Um, mm -hmm. Well, we already saw what happened with uh, Monica and uh, Darius. <laughs> You think that's and, done? You think that storyline's over? Yeah, I um, mean, yeah, especially you finding out somebody got a baby on the way. It's like, <laughs> no. I don't know the way she's looking. It may not be over. I know that's what I'm saying. She's trying. I'm trying to see if I can get some answers. I, I mean, I didn't already. Got it. I didn't already purchase. Her eyebrows it, so went up. And I know, down, like, like you know, but don't get too then, comfortable. But I mean, she got. She still got. She got. She got that little. She got the little side piece in the back, Jason. So, Did you like Jason? Did you guys like Jason? Hashtag Yeah, I, I do like Jason. I mean, he's he was different, you know. So I, I think like that's different. something. Yeah, I think mm -hmm. that's something good for Monica. Yeah. Now Jordan, oh Jordan, on the other hand, I'm glad to see, she was kind of laid back for a moment, but then you know she br brought back that savageness after uh with the um, what you call it her ex. So Lance, yeah, good old Lance. When mm -hmm. I found out when I heard his name Lance, I just automatically said, oh, best man, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's where they got all their characters' name from I black know, movies. Yeah, I know you oh, told me that. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. man. hallelujah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now I will tell y'all um, that I don't know what outreach you guys have done as far as looking for networks or things of that nature, but Tyler Perry and Tyler Perry Studios are real good at looking at the independent artists um, and artists that technically get overlooked because you know the industry is about people who are already doing things, but he does things a little differently. So definitely reach out to T Tyler Perry Studios. Okay. okay. Thank you. You're welcome. That's, that's management over there. <laughs> hey. I'm just saying, that's what you, I mean. Can, can, I, can, I, can, I, can I say it? Yeah, sure. You can go ahead and say it. Okay. Blue Flame <laughs> is now my branding manager. <laughs> yes. <Hello. laughs> yes. <Hello. laughs> yes. Get the job done. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah that's awesome. Now, the manager, next year when we come back on with your manager, She's like, yo, now we part of Tyler Perry. So we got to tell you how the Tyler Perry relationship will yep. all happen. Yeah. Definitely, yeah. definitely. Right. Yeah. Matter of okay. fact. And then we're going to play this back. So y'all going to segue this into the... Uh. Yeah, that's yeah. Exactly, right. that's exactly how it's going to go down. Yep. It's going to go down just like that. Matter of fact. <laughs> but I, know, I mean, I'm just saying. because I, I one mean, of his actors. We might be able to oh. put a... Birdie in the ear. ear, yeah. Oh, Let's yeah, I know who you're talking about. Mm -hmm. I know two of his actors personally. We're going to see what we can do about that. Yeah, we that. have to talk we'll offline. All right, see. <laughs> I guess it's tough, tough luck. We'll have to go, go down to Atlanta. you going to come down to Atlanta with Hey, we, I, hey. You know, I'm um, for it, yeah. I'm, we're yeah. so upset about having to go to Atlanta. <laughs> Are you kidding me? My, <laughs> my, bags, are all, all my bags are already packed for L.A. Because I'm trying to find somebody similar to Caleb. Because, I mean, that's where they at. Because Indianapolis show ain't got... I'm like... <laughs> the way they will. I'll take oh, Caleb. Look. I'll take a Lance. I'll take a Winston. Just bring it out. A on. Winston. <laughs> a Brad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, was gonna, I was gonna see if she was gonna agree with a Brad. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we crazy on here. <laughs> Just saying, equal opportunity. Equal. Okay. It has to be like a John B. Not like. Conan O'Brien. <laughs> <laughs> John 
B was fine as hell. Thank you. No, he was why fine. Why did she say not like saying. a Conan O'Brien? I can't do a Have Conan O'Brien. Mm. No. I'm just saying. I, if I'm going to do it, I you got to do it right. Me. You got to do it right. <laughs> <laughs> I can't deal with that. <laughs> the shenanigans is real. <laughs> well, definitely, I appreciate you guys for letting us do this interview with you. And um, I, that's all the questions I got for you guys. But we're going to move on into the entertainment portion if y'all want to stick around. Well, before we do that, um, I want you to shout out anybody that y'all want to shout out. Give love to whoever it is that y'all want to give love to. Um, whatever. Um, pre anything that you want to give as far as what your thoughts might be about what might occur in season three, maybe. Because I know she's Hello? already written it. I can, I know. No, you didn't. You got some <laughs> scribble, some scribble somewhere. First and foremost, we want to definitely like give you guys a special shout out, a special Thank thanks for guys. having us on the platform again, and um, we uh, we want to give uh, a coupon code to your listeners or your viewers and listeners. Um, it's Tough Love Fan. That's the that's the promo code. Uh, right now, it's like a like three dollars off, but that one gives four bucks off. So if they go to creativedirection.tv where the bonus episode is living, you can put in Tough Love Fan, mm -hmm. and then I'll give you a promo code and get a percentage off. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, spread that, spread that, and we'll send a special thing to you guys as well. But, um, you know, we also just want to thank, you know, uh, all, all the cast members that yeah, put out their hard, hard work and put in, you know, all that, all that memorization. Like, yeah, we had a really crazy, crazy production process this time, 15 days straight. Everyone was tired, but everyone was working really, really hard. They 20 hour days. Um, it was a longer, thicker script, um, so yeah. memorization yeah. and everything. So shout out to our cast. Sh shout out to the crew as well. We had a lot of uh, support and help uh, behind the scenes. Um, Amos, which was like our go-to production assistant, he was like one of the best. And also Will Rosati, who, who actually cooks up and arranges uh, a lot of the sounds and the small nuances and sound effects and things like that. Riles, our music supervisor, when you hear all the tunes, all the good music, all the nice up-and-coming artists that mm -hmm. bring, you know, they just sonically move tough love. Shout out to Teresha Riles, who just really finds these artists um, yeah, that, that's, that's it. Yeah, yeah. that's uh, yeah, thank you to all the viewers. Yeah, been keeping us going. Our viewership has increased this season, uh, and we're really excited and hopefully can keep the tough love movement going. Yeah, yeah. Started off with like a thousand views in 24 hours on YouTube, now it's a 10,000 views in season two. Wow. Uh, four oh, hours, wow. so the growth is there. That's that means who are watching, um, you guys are spreading the love, and thank you. Thank you guys for being with us today. Um, y'all.